This video will show the 10 most common mistakes we see from our students when trying to angle the takeoff and solutions to them. The first one is misreading the situation before angling the takeoff, resulting in bad positioning. If a surfer misreads how the wave will peel and ends up in the wrong peak position, for example, being way too deep, it won't matter how or when he angles his takeoff, he won't be successful in keeping up with the wave. A good way to avoid this is to keep glancing over your shoulder as you position yourself into a wave to be aware of what it's doing and how it will peel. If you'd like to access the full course on how to position yourself in unbroken waves, make sure to click on the link below to create a free account on our surf coaching platform. The second mistake is not angling at all. This frequently happens when surfers look down towards their board's nose or towards the bottom of the wave. If you look down, you will end up going down the wave. It also happens to surfers who want to stand up too soon instead of choosing to first angle and then get to their feet. Here's something to practice. Think about surfing the wave to the right or to the left for a second or two before standing up. The third error is not angling enough. Especially on fast breaking waves, surfers need stronger angle towards the shoulder. If they drop down to the bottom, they will get stuck in the white water. You might want to get some footage of your surfing to make sure you're actually riding the shoulder as high as you think you are. Many beginner intermediate surfers don't angle their takeoff as much as they think they do and actually ride the shoulder more towards the bottom. Next, there's an opposite mistake, angling too much. This is often a problem on soft, slow breaking waves. If the shoulder line has a steep drop, the wave will peel more slowly, so you will need to angle less. If you angle your takeoff too much, you will end up going over the shoulder. Make sure to read the shoulder and adjust your angle accordingly. Angling front side instead of back side. When surfers first learn to angle their takeoffs, they tend to angle themselves to ride the wave front side because it feels easier to surf the wave when they face the wave. The ocean dictates if the wave will peel towards the left or the right, so you need to practice angling towards both sides. Then there are timing mistakes, such as angling too soon. If a surfer is paddling at 5 km per hour at 45 degrees, it's the equivalent of paddling only 3.5 km per hour in the wave's direction. The more and the sooner you angle your takeoff, the harder it is to catch the wave. When you first start angling your takeoff, it's recommended to paddle perpendicular first, making sure you catch the wave, and only start angling during the last few paddle strokes. The opposite timing mistake is to try to angle the takeoff too late without having done at least a few paddle strokes towards the right or the left. This situation usually happens to longboarders on steep fast breaking waves. On fast breaking waves, surfers need to enter the wave with a strong angle. Trying to go from being perpendicular to having a strong angle just by leaning in the cobra pose won't be enough on a longboard. These boards are too big and take time to turn. You need to paddle with slight angle first to be able to really engage the rail by leaning towards the shoulder in the cobra pose. Smaller boards move differently in the water. Check out our online course to access a tutorial on differences between angling smaller boards versus a bigger one. Technical issues with the cobra pose lean. Just before popping up, surfers often get in a position that we call the cobra pose lean. In this position, surfers place their hands below their pectorials, lift their upper body and lean right or left. We often see technical issues such as not extending the arms or putting the hands a bit further on their surfboards, which doesn't give surfers much leverage to angle their surfboard efficiently. Even amongst intermediates, a very common mistake is to stop looking towards the target or turning the chest back towards the bottom, even for just a fraction of a second. Angling the takeoff is crucial. It dictates the rest of your ride. Notice this surfer here correctly looks and leans towards his target. But at this precise moment here, he turns his chest downwards just for a second. This changes his line in a way that makes it impossible to catch up with the wave. 
If you need a strong angle towards the shoulder, you will need to keep your head and your chest pointing towards where you want to go, all the way until you get to your feet. Lastly, even though a surfer might angle perfectly, things can go wrong during the takeoff. Surfers need to keep the line they wanted to draw when they started to angle their takeoff. Here the surfer is trimming on the wave with his inside rail engaged. When he gets to his feet, this does not change, the rail is still engaged. This is because he popped up with the proper post takeoff position, with his head and chest pointing where he wants to go, putting extra weight over his toes. This way, the inside rail stays engaged. The surfer here paddles, looks and intends to angle to his left, but he doesn't take off in an optimal position. He looks down at his feet and extends his legs whilst applying extra weight over his heels, making it impossible to follow his line to his left. For more information on how to land on your feet in the optimal position, sign up for free on our online coaching platform to watch the post takeoff position tutorial in the takeoff course.